So, Father, uh, another thing is uh, this, I, this concept of the eclipse of the church, that the church is in, is in eclipse. And uh, people who are, are an R&R are, are, are loath to take a set of Acantus position, and they will say, no, that destroys the visibility of the church. Mm-hmm. And the church, the, the church is always visible. And how can set of Acantism be the answer? And what, you know, there's only a couple of thousand, tens of thousands of set of Acantists, um, or maybe more. I'm not sure, but that's what, what happened to the billion of the Catholics. All the visibility is gone. So, mm-hmm. what does that mean? The eclipse of the church has that ever happened in, in history? Has the church ever been in eclipse? To use that term, it's another question of what exactly do we mean by the term eclipse? Uh, uh, the, the eclipse of the moon, of course, we're talking about a lunar eclipse. You have the shadow of the Earth covering a part of the moon, so that the moon is or a part or a whole of it, uh, so that the the moon is either partially or completely blackened. Uh, or in the case of a solar eclipse, something similar with the sun. Uh, so it means. So what do exactly do we mean by that? The, the 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 church cannot physically, literally undergo an eclipse in that same way. So obviously, it's by analogy that we're using this term. So the question is, uh, when you have obviously in an analogy, you have two separate things. In this case, two separate phenomena that are being compared, and uh, using some something that this uh, the, the analogy of an eclipse, something that they could have in common or be said in some way to have in common. Uh, in order to illustrate the current situation. So take something we know more easily, an eclipse, and use that to in some way to describe the situation of the church as we see it now. So you have to understand that's an analogy, and an analogy is always just an illustration. Uh, That's one thing that has to be kept clear. It's always just an illustration. We cannot argue from analogy. So if you want to say the church is an eclipse, you you have to explain, okay, what precisely is the situation to which you are making an analogy. <laughs> Explain first in technical terms what you mean by that, in other words. And so uh, the current situation is, oh, there's, eclipse is not a technical theological term. So <laughs> you'll not, you not find a definition of that in any dogmatic theology manual. Uh, any, any okay, but manual. how about like, um, Father, sorry to interrupt you, but like, for instance, when the church was being persecuted in Rome, um, could you say then that the church was not visible? Christians were in hiding. Right. Is, so is that a similar yes. sort of situation? Yes, we could. Yes, so the, the, uh, the question like that. Yes, we, we can address it more easily. Uh, no, the visibility of the church has nothing to do with the persecution of the church. The visibility of the church means that it has an external visible structure that you can point to. So as uh, as, as the theologians explain it, uh, you could the visibility of the church is such that. You can point to the church the same way you can point to a kingdom. So we have a, a there's a, a Belgian theologian, uh, De Groot, who uh, wrote a, uh, in 1906. He published a work on, a, on De Ecclesia, a work on ecclesiology, which is excellent. We use it for our, our ecclesiology course in the seminary. He says that you can point to the visible church the way, same way you can point to a visible kingdom such as England or Belgium. So England was uh, always very protective of Belgium. And he was Belgian, so he uses his own country and a country very friendly to his as the example. So you can point, in other words, you can point to my country, to Belgium. You can point to a a nation friendly to mine, to England. And so also you can point to the Catholic Church and say, there is the Catholic Church. That is the what the visibility of the church provides. Uh, Something exactly that, an external visible structure. And so the church can be persecuted and remain perfectly visible. So... In the current situation, you know, we're talking about wanting to use the you know, the term the eclipse of the church. We can we can use that legitimately to say the church is in a terrible situation. That we can say uh, the things are not as they ought to be. Yes, that that's true. But it does not mean that the church has been some way in some way irreparably damaged. That 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 the church is no longer infallible or indefectible. Has lost any of its essential attributes. That it has lost its visibility or anything like that. So, as far as how exactly to preserve visibility in the current situation, when we're saying that the Novus Ordo hierarchy do not have habitual jurisdiction to rule over the Catholic Church, how is visibility preserved? Yeah, I don't know what totalists will say to that. Uh, not, I shouldn't say I have absolutely no idea, but uh, I'd say they have no good answer to it. But those of us who adhere to the thesis, we say that the thesis provides the explanation for that. That perhaps they do not have habitual authority to rule over the church, but they part of the service that they do to the church, such as it is, uh, which is minimal, but they do some things for the church, 
part of the service that they do for the church is to preserve that external visible structure. We can still point to that and say, there are the structures of the Catholic church. Mm. They may not have the faith. They may not have the authority to rule the church habitually, but they maintain its external visible structures. And they are in a position so, such that were they to adopt the Catholic faith and intend to actually teach it, that they would, in fact, have full possession of that authority, which they claim now. So that yeah, the short answer for how visibility is preserved, even in the current situation. Uh, which is one of the reasons why we say that the, the thesis is definitely true. It's the only it, it's in accordance with all the dictates of the faith concerning the church. And also it's very useful because it provides an answer to every objection that could Absolutely. be raised against the state of a Kentus position. I agree. 